everyone it's Vicky here from Crafty Heaven and thank you very much for joining me today and today's tutorial I'm bringing another design team project for Simply Made Crafts and it is this gorgeous gift bag and I absolutely love it it's so pretty so as you can see the centre is a acetate box and then on the top and bottom I've used the elegant frame die set which is this one here and then I've also used the Scandi Dreams paper pack and the ephemera pieces that has just been released so this is what it looks like on the front I've added some of the ephemera pieces on there and then that's what it looks like on the top and then the lid just comes off to reveal the Lindor strawberries and cream chocolate and there's 200 grams of chocolate in there and as you can see it is jam-packed full and yeah absolutely love it so if you want to know how to make this then let's get started okay so before we get started you can see I have my box here already and the reason being is because I filmed this um, video of me assembling this box with the acetate and then when I went back to edit it you couldn't see what I was doing so you couldn't see the score lines you couldn't see where I folded it so this bit I'm refilming and I'm using scrap pieces of patterned paper to assemble the box just so you can see what I'm going to be doing to make this box so I will also have the measurements in the video description bar below so please go and check out the measurements on on there because I'm not going to read them out to you the only measurements I'm going to say is the score measurements because obviously I'm going to score this with you but as for the measure other measurements they will be down below okay so we are going to start off with the lid and we are going to score this at three and a quarter and six and a half which is 8.2 and 16.5 centimeters we're going to rotate it and do the same again three and a quarter and six and a half for the lid this will need to be scored at three inches and six and three eighths which is 7.6 and 16.2 centimeters rotate it and again score at three and six and three eighths and that's all the measurements we need to do so we're going to start off with the base and obviously you've got to imagine this is acetate so with acetate you will need to use your bone folder to give it a good crease so then it you know gives the nice crisp look when you fold it up so we're going to do the base like i said so fold on your score lines giving it a good crease and then we're going to do some trimming. So we're going to come to the corners here. Okay, so we're going to start on this side. And we're going to cut up this score line here. So we're going to go all the way up there. So then we have this tab here. We're going to turn it this way. And we're going to cut across like so so then we have this smaller tab so we're able to fold up the side of our box we also need to give this tab a trim at an angle so just give it a trim on either side like so so that's our first tab we're going to come to the opposite side and do the same again And there we go. So these two tabs will fold in and we will get the side of our box like so. And then we're going to come to the opposite side and we're going to repeat the same process. Okay. 
okay so that's what that looks like and then we're going to do the same with the lid Now we have our base and our lid so I'm going to turn these over and we're going to add some double sided tape to the outside of each tab so we're going to peel off the backing And we're going to just fold in those sides. Okay, so there's the base. Do the same for the lid. and then they just slot in like that and the lid has a slight gap here so then we're able to put our finger and thumb in there to be able to hold that while we lift the lid off. so like i said you'll do this with your acetate i just did it this way you so you could see what i'm doing and then you will end up with your box looking like this now you will see your double sided tape or whatever glue that you want to use but once I've got my treats in there you're not really going to see it that well um, so I'm not too fussed but I have added my paper to just the lid like so so again that covers up the double sided tape as well like I said I've added the pattern paper measurements on the description bar below so I've just added four of them and the pattern paper is the new gorgeous scandi dreams paper pack from simply made crafts okay so we are going to decorate this up and i'm going to put my treats in when we have finished so to decorate this and make it a bit more fancier die cut out four of these elegant frames from the elegant frames die set and i die cut out two in this rose pinky gold color and then two of in white cardstock to go on the back just to make it a bit more sturdier as well and just to make it a bit more pretty on the back so i've glued those together okay so one is going to go on the bottom glue the base to that one and then this will go on top and we glue this to the lid so how pretty does that look so i'm going to glue them down i'm just going to use my liquid glue and i'm going to use a very thin line around that center frame here and glue them on and then when i've done that i will come back okay so this is still a bit tacky um so it's still drying so this is what it looks like how pretty does that look and obviously once that is dry that will be nice and secured what i want to do now is i want to add a handle so i'm just going to grab this piece of card so again i've got a bit of that rose gold for the handle and i've just scored the ends here. i'm going to stick this on to the top of the lid there and also the other side as well and then to cover them up i have these two pieces so i've got a bit of the card and also this paper with the butterfly on and i'm going to slot them in there to cover up the 
tabs on the handles so i'm going to let this dry first because it keeps moving and then i'm going to attach these pieces and then we can just decorate the front of the bag with the ephemera pieces from helen's collection and we can add the chocolates and look at the finished result okay so i've gone ahead and added the ephemera pieces so this is what it looks like on the front and i've added some diamantes there and then just a diamante on the butterfly here as you can see and these are the ephemera pieces you can also purchase the digital downloads as well where you can print these off as much as you want so these are just a few of them and aren't they gorgeous so i'm going to move them to one side and we're going to fill this with some treats so i have this 200 grams box of lindor and it is the strawberries and cream i've only opened it so it's still the full packet unfortunately i can't have these because i can't have milk so there is none missing out of this because <laughs> otherwise there would be so i'm going to fill this up and this fills this whole box of the chocolate inside here and there we go so you can see how full that is so i thought i'd get the pink ones so then it matches the colors on the paper so we're going to fill that up and pop the lid back on like so and there we go that is my acetate gift bag slash a box using the gorgeous patterned paper from simply made crafts and also the elegant frame die set as well and the beautiful ephemera pieces there as well so there we go guys i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial as always links will be in the video description bar below so you can get your hands on these products that i've used in today's video and they will be over at craft stash if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and please continue to support my channel by hitting that subscribe button. It'd be much appreciated. Until next time, guys, take care and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.